at, uh, I have to say, enormously crowded booth of ST Microelectronics, also known as STM in our popular corridors. Uh, we've actually had to struggle to find this space. Even if we are accompanied by, helped by two ladies, kind ladies, we have managed to secure Claudio Valesani, who is uh, going to discuss with me some, you know, corporate background or op attitudes of the company towards several platforms and things developing. That might sound a bit vague, Claudio, welcome. Um, but um, uh, it is, it, the case is many people are looking at the startup platforms today, like Indiegogo um, and Kickstarter. How does SD Micro look to these platforms? Uh, are you excited by them or do you hate them? No, no, we are excited about them. With the focus we are put on mass market and developing of startup and new company in the last years, uh, we can take advantage of the existing of the ground founding company like Indiegogo and of course Kickstarter. What we put together with the CN32 in terms of uh, easy development tools and uh, everything around our open development environment makes for company very easy to develop new application from the idea to prototyping and then eventually also to production. Of course, this uh, easy way to produce idea to production yeah. is then yeah. supported by the crown founding. But, 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 but don't forget the support. Eh? What do you offer specifically in, in terms of support, software and hardware? We provide, of course, a demo board. Yeah. Like famous, famous SD boards. We can start with the discovery kit that are very, very easy way yeah, yeah, yeah. to discover what an STM32 yeah. can do to move more versus other applications yeah. like the nuclear, nuclear board yeah. where you can run application and okay. the X nuclear board yeah. where we can run other product of ST on the micro yeah. plus all the software yeah. the these kits are very famous at all shows because you know and indeed many startups even if in with an elector's own FFA the fast forward awards have used your use as the core to start from. So you're doing very well, I think, as, a, as a, to help these startup people. Eh? Yes. We, we have reached a number, an incredible number of customers now, around 40,000 customers on the world on STN32. Yeah. Thanks to this openness to new companies supporting with easy tool, with inexpensive tool, that's very important. Mm -hmm. And the reason also why we participated this year to the fast forwarding activity, yeah. Electronica, yeah. in order to attract new startup company here in Germany, to make sure they can work with us in advance and they can transform their brilliant idea in prototype yeah. and then production. Okay, so Claudio, how, how is the concept of startup business sort of anchored in your company, in, within STM, how is that anchored? Do you have a fixed element within STM to deal with startups? We have uh, put a change in the organization uh, four years ago mm -hmm. and we have uh, put a big emphasis on the mass market development inside mm -hmm. the sales organization, sales and market organization <laughs> ST. And inside this new change and addressing better the mass market, the focus is of course on discovering new company, on allowing also new company to emerge. Mm -hmm. We put together some um, innovation booster initiative where we cooperate. Can you mention a few, Claudio? Yes, we put together an initiative in France, for example, where we open also our offices. We give space to new startup in order they can work inside an ST environment. Wow. Getting access to ST technology, being introduced also to our customer and also to find a way to enlarge their ecosystem and to find the easier, more partner. Mm -hmm. This is for sure a way to attract yep. this new emerging customer. Other way is being very present on the net and uh, making a lot of workshop. We are doing a very, very uh, strong presence in workshop and uh, both on site in the big city and uh, on online. Yeah. Okay, so what development kits um, would, you, would you recommend, Claudio, you know, for the serious startup people? J just mention the two or three. We've seen even before already here our... We have the Nucleo, we have the discovery kits. What about the STM ODE? platform. The open development environment is what is more important. It's based of course on providing hardware support through the so nuclear, nuclear still, eh? nuclear board yeah. for all the microcontroller core we have. Yeah. So and you've, you've also supply a lot of extension boards eh? exactly. to, make, to make the platform. Around the microcontroller we are now putting emphasis on the supplying a lot of extension boards in order <laughs> we to have so sure many. <laughs> to make sure yeah. we can put inside the application connectivity, power management uh, and uh, all sensor and all the options that the customer want to yep. implement. Okay. 
and plus all the software. This is, of course, a very important part of the activity. Okay. Now, moving from the startup people and the home labs to the more professional side, there's also a buzzword, of course, on the show, Industry 4.0, Industry 4.0. Or 4.0 in French. Uh, what's, how is STM dealing with Industry 4.0? Are you a key player there? I suppose so. Yes, we were present in industry and factory automations in 30 years. So we are the one that for sure uh, have, have put a lot of emphasis on electronic in uh, automation, factory automation, industrial. There is also a video here on the, on the board. I suggest everybody to look. Okay. It's very interesting on our activity on 4.0. We. We want to use and leverage the possibility with the internet and with the, the cloud to put every node in a, in a factory connected in order to collect more data, in order to make the factory more efficient, safer also for the environment, for the people that are working in, and more flexible. At which levels roughly, Claudio? At high levels or are you talking at machine level? No, we are talking also at machine level. We want to connect all machine mm -hmm. and putting all in a sensor mm -hmm. that can be easily connected network with, between uh, VLAN or Bluetooth or SIGFOG or whatever inside uh, the factory in order to provide much more information than what they have today. In order to be more, at the end, efficient in the way we work. We're going back from high level again to low level to the startups. Claudio, your personal favorite for any startup walking in the corridor here is going to be which one of these? Which one of these? I, I suggest your personal, be very personal, please. My, my personal, yeah. I suggest... And tell me why. ...to look on the discovery kit to make immediately, in a few minutes really, a good uh, image of what ST can provide. Yep. It's a very easy tool, very inexpensive tool. You can, in a few minutes, make a good picture of what STM32 products can make for you. Final words from Claudio Valesani at STM. Thank you very much and enjoy here the fair. We have a lot of people coming from new company. Too many people here. There's, there's too many there people here. Not many. There are, could be even more and more. Okay. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you very much.